In this video, we will learn what is MySQL Workbench, its uh, features, why it is important, how it can ease your work of creating databases and tables and performing operations. Let's see. So first, let us discuss what is MySQL. MySQL is a relational database management system that is RDBMS, which is based on SQL. So SQL based means you can easily store data in the form of tables, just create a database and under that create multiple tables. Every table will be having rows and columns and you can easily save your data. So MySQL is now supported by Oracle. It is being used. So it is being used by top companies like Facebook, YouTube. It initially released in 1995 and written in C and C++. So why we are preferring MySQL Workbench instead of the MySQL command line. So we have a MySQL command line as well as Workbench because Workbench is a UI. You just need to right click and create a database, right click and just create a table. You don't need to write multiple commands for doing your work. I'll show this later. So it is a graphical tool for working with your MySQL. Okay. Let's see the features. Based on MySQL, I've already discussed. Uh, it is open source. You can freely download it. We will see this later. You can easily support large databases. Okay. It's basically compatible with PHP. You can connect it with PHP and uh, work around your website and host your website database under MySQL. It is secure and highly flexible. So I just told you that why we are preferring MySQL Workbench because we could have also gone to MySQL and work around command line. In the next chapter, we'll be working on the installation of both and we'll be showing the difference. So you can easily work around that Workbench is like this. Okay. That is, it is having a UI to create tables like this guys. We have created tables. If you want to create a new table, just right click and click on create table. If you want to import from a CSV JSON file, SQL file, you can click here and the results will be visible in this form. You can also export import. The, we will see all this later and the result will also be visible here stating that your action, your action was correct. That is four rows return. That means we successfully ran this query. Okay. And we have different options to create a new database also like this, create a new schema that is a database. So we can easily work around the entire UI and, and you can ease your work create tables, databases, perform operations easily. We will see this in our complete tutorial. So guys, thank you for watching the video. In this video, we saw why we are working on Workbench and what it is and how it eases the work of a administrator, database administrator. Thank you for watching the video.